Hello. My name is Marcela Alfaro Cordon, and I'm an assistant professor at the University of Costa Rica. Thank you to the organizing committee of this workshop for the invitation. I'm here to tell you about the RGA plenaries, specifically about the last one. I was lucky to be part of the organizing committee of, the, of this plenary. That was the first RGA plenary with a Latin American host, Costa Rica. Since I'm going to provide a lot of links with information, here is the link to this presentation. So you can visit the sites whenever you have time. But first, what is RDA? RDA is a grassroots organization that has as a mission to build the social and technical bridges that enable open sharing of data. It reunites professionals in data with different backgrounds and perspectives to create innovative ways to address the grand challenges of society. RDA is organized in working and interest, interest groups that create the space for more than 12,000 members from around the world to contribute to this mission. You can find more info about RDA in this link. Um, one of the key components of RDA are the plenaries. Every six months, RDA community organizes one meeting in a different region of the world to allow the different working and interest groups to meet to find new collaborators, to find new founders for their initiatives, and to provide a space for early career researchers to expand their network and thrive in this community. Also, the plenary serve as a window to present the output and adoption cases that have been developed during the previous time. The last plenary was the 16th plenary, organized by RDA and CONARI, a consortium of public universities from Costa Rica. It was supposed to be presential, but ended up being virtual in November of 2020 due to, to, to the pandemic. What was so special about this plenary? As I mentioned before, it was the first time that an RDA plenary had a Latin American host country, and it was a window for researchers from our region, such as Dr. Bianca Amaro and Dr. Juan Bano, to showcase their research and projects. Some of the activities were held in Spanish with simultaneous translation to English, and we had more than 600 attendees from 43 different countries. It was also the time to present the highlights from the COVID-19 working group that was created as a response to the challenges of data sharing during the pandemic. Dr. Bianca Amaro from the Brazilian Institute of Information and Science and Technology sum summarized on her plenary session the open science policies and infrastructures in Latin America and how they are adapting to create data repositories. Dr. Juan Padre shared results of his study on how the COVID-19 data has been shared in Latin American countries and how this experience can serve to have more transparent governance in terms of data in our region. But the plenary was more than these two keynotes. We had four other keynotes and 70 different presentations from other interests and working groups. All of these sessions are recorded and available to watch in this week. Now, RDA just announced that the next plenary will be virtual as well. The host country in this case is Scotland, and they are making sure that the plenary can be accessible for all the regions of the world. Please check out the link on this page for more information on how to participate in this plenary, whether it is as a working or interest group member, or as a member working as a new member looking for ways to collaborate. Thank you for your attention and please check out the RTA website for more information and follow them on Twitter. Again, the link to this presentation is this one right here, so you can find all the info that I've mentioned in this video. Thank you again.